Oh, hey there. I was just reading the instructions to Draconian, one of the new Atari 2600 homebrews I've purchased. No, I never read instructions when I was eight years old. I'm reading all the instructions on these so I can jump in understanding what I'm doing, unlike what I used to do is jump into Sword Quest and not know what the hell was going on for hours and never did figure out that stupid game. So, I got a stack of new homebrews here and we're gonna start plowing through these one by one. This episode is gonna be all about Draconian. I'm pretty excited about Draconian. It's one that seems to be talked about a little bit more on some of the forums and pages that I visit. There's this one super cool Facebook group called Atari 2600 Homebrews and I put out there, you know, what are some of your favorite homebrews so I know what to get next. And Draconian seemed to be one of the ones that floated to the top. So this is one that I'm pretty excited about uh, trying. It seems pretty cool, space game. You travel through space, uh, you've been, your galaxy's been invaded by the bad guys, and your mission is to go to quadrant to quadrant, sector to sector, and get rid of them. You're given an awesome ship to do that with, so it sounds just basically like a shooter. Uh, there's a couple cool things in here, like the space stations. Um, when you find the space stations, they're surrounded with, 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 with these weapons pods that you need to destroy. If you destroy them all, then they, the space station should uh, go into critical condition and explode. However, there's also an exhaust port, very much like Star Wars Death Star, it, that needs to be opened every once in a while. If you can get that when it's open, then you'll automatically destroy that space station. So I think the instructions set up the game well enough to give you some context, but I think what we need to do next is jump right in. If you can right now, let me ask you just please subscribe. It would help me a lot and help me know that you like these videos and I'll just keep making them because I'm having a blast doing it. So without further ado, let's jump in and play Draconian. Notice you can select your quadrant, sector, level, and TV type. The TV type is automatically, should be automatically selected uh, through a system called Smart Assistant, which is SmartAss for short. That is directly from the instructions. I'm going to do kids just because we're figuring out this game for the first time right now and we don't want to just keep getting obliterated while I'm trying to show you what Draconian is all about. But again, you go through the sectors and the quadrants, try to rid the, that of the bad guys. So let's jump right in and let's, let's go. Okay, we're in sec quadrant one, sector one. Oh, very interesting. It has those are asteroids, these are space mines. These controls are very nice. I like, I like the rapid fire. Nice! Oh, I am super impressed with the, the gameplay here. Look at that. Oh, you can see on our radar at the below where I need to go. Oh, that's big formation coming. Obviously this is going to progressively get harder. Might get annoying on the video that I'm holding down the fire button, so yeah, I cleared the sector. Now we're going to sector two. And we can see our own white radar. Where to go? I'll try to lay off the button a little bit. Well, this is a super cool game. You can fire up, down, left, right, diagonal. Controls are super responsive and smooth. Graphics are impressive. I'm super impressed there's a voice feature without the without any mods or voice boxes. That's our uh, computer telling us that there's an alert. I can't remember them right offhand, but there there's certain certain alerts you need to pay attention to, such as if they say co red, they're ju you just need to get out. Spiceware, great job. This is 
which is quite a feat for an Atari 2600 game. I don't know who wouldn't enjoy playing this, but I'm just tracking that guy down. Probably shouldn't have run to do that. Those are the space stations we're killing. You see how I can get right into the middle there. Now, there will be a time where the space stations start firing missiles at us. go. Sector 2 cleared. Now we're on 4. And we better go take out these space stations way down here. Cruise back to the top. I'm just going to say it already. If you don't have this game, get it. You're watching this video probably because you like the Atari 2600. And, uh, something crazy is coming after me. That formation here. There's also spy ships we need to. Oh, you see that? I got extra points for killing all of them. Just like a good Gallagher formation, you can get them all at once, you get a bonus. Anyway, what I was saying, if you don't have this, get it. You're watching this video because you like the Atari 2600. If you like the Atari 2600, you're going to love this game. It's right off the bat, I've been playing this for five minutes. It's already super addicting. For an action space shooter, Man, I don't, I don't know if there's a better of the genre. On. This might have to be the, you know, with a five-minute opinion here. Oh, ran right into the space station. This might be the best of the genre here. Again, graphics are great, sounds are great, controls are great, gameplay is great. This should be heralded as one of the best games for the Atari 2600. I mean, there's there's been so many homebrews I've loved, and I'm not going to take anything away from those because I'm going back and playing them all over again. Um, but just, yeah, just jumping into this one with how much action. It's it's just a good game. We can spend hours and hours and hours trying to clear all the quadrants. Um, one thing that's interesting is the I'll have to get back to that when I look at the instructions. All right, guys. I know you're, it's kind of like a repeat from what we've been seeing. And you're not playing, so I'm having way more fun than you are. I don't know, maybe you just like watching, but... Eh, here comes the formation. Let's get them all. Watch this. Points. Yeah, a thousand points. Ooh, that looks cool. I love the little voice thing. I'm just still super surprised this is the Atari 2600 with no audio box or nothing installed to do voice. Very Wizard of War sounding. Alright, we're on Sector 7. I think I'll go ahead and just pause it. The quadrants, there's five. Uh, there's a little funny description of why there's five in the instruction book. So buy the, in, the physical cartridge and you can read the humorous instruction book. Uh, five quadrants, alpha, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon. 
Uh, Alpha is Midway Arcade Levels. Beta is Namco Arcade Levels. Gamma is Draconian Contributors. Delta is submitted by Atari Age members. And Epsilon is randomly generated. So that's pretty cool. What a great game. I'm going to put this as a highly recommended game. Probably, eh, I mean, for the development feat and fun just jumping in, this, this, this one has to be a 10 out of 10. Super awesome game. If you like these videos, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell. It helps me a lot. Just lets me know that you do like these videos, and I'm going to keep making them. So thanks a lot, and we'll catch you on the next video. Thank you.